Good morning guys, I am whispering because I'm not at my house and the babies are asleep in the room next door to me, my sister and her partner are asleep in the room next door to me, the other side, and my mum and dad are asleep in the room across the hall. So I'm doing a day in the life for you today but I'm starting at my mum's house. Um, if you saw my Why In A Day video last week, you would know that my husband came down with meningitis on Valentine's Day and they were debating whether it was viral or bacterial. Basically, they never decided. They couldn't get the fluid they needed from his lumbar puncture. So, um, yeah. They said it was viral, but then his symptoms didn't respond how they'd like, so then they said, oh well, maybe it's bacterial. Um, but he's so full of antibiotics now, they can't tell the difference either way. So I've just woke up and had a bath. Uh, I got up at like quarter past five. I went to sleep at 6 p.m. last night for a little bit. Um, I hate starting vlogs like this, it sounds like I'm complaining or like rambling but this is just how it's been. Um, not last night, the night before, I'd left James at the hospital about half nine at night, got back to the babies, got in bed with them and Eden had her first asthma attack. So at midnight we're in an ambulance. Um, going back to the hospital so it's like my second ambulance in a week um, and I was up all night with her at a &E while they sorted her out so I didn't actually sleep at all that night so that's why yesterday I left the hospital at about half four went home had some food and then went to bed at six o'clock and then I woke up at nine and drove over to my mum's to be with the babies because she had them. But I needed that bit of sleep, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to drive, basically. So, and then I'm here. So that's why I'm up so early because I did have like quite a lot of sleep. Um, so I'm just gonna get dressed. I'm going to put some makeup on today because James can now open his eyes. So I'm trying to look nice for him. And then I'm going to make sure I do breakfast with the babies before getting to the hospital for ward round. So, sorry for the lengthy bubble and start to the day in life, but that's what my plans are. I've been doing some editing while um, I was waiting for them to wake up. And look who's here! That's rubbish. Look who's here! <laughs> Where's he doing? Bear is here. Oh, and Bear. Where's Lee Bear? Where's he doing? Bear's a gem. Hello, I'm Danny Duck. <laughs> <laughs> I want that to be that Eden's not eating wheat bakes, so that's cornflakes. I'm a cornflakes. You don't want cornflakes. Granddad, I'm gonna stay at work. Bye. Bye. It is 
now 7 30 and i'm gonna head to the hospital to make sure i'm there for ward round as today we find out what's going on with these antibiotics and painkillers and all that jazz because it's been the weekend and there were certain things they hadn't got under control so i'm gonna set off soon can we kiss for i have to go love you kisses i give you i give you lots of kisses give me a kiss <coughs> Oh, you're giving me lots of kisses. Oh. Now you got my lipstick on your face. Mm -hmm. I'll wipe it off. Nice. I love you. We got you. We got you, Matt. I'll see you soon. I'm driving, and I'm just driving and kind of not stuck in traffic, but a little bit where it's stop, start, stop, start for a while. This road is always really um, built up at the end. I'm just waiting to get basically onto the motorway. And um, I'm an hour and a half late to setting off than I planned to be because inevitably at times like this when everyone's tired, my mum and I ended up having a massive row. We're just both tired and stressed. There wasn't really any reason to it. Yeah, we're just both tired. So we had a good shout, followed by a good cry, and then a good hug, and now I am late. Getting to the hospital, um, hoping to still make it in time for ward round to find out what's going on. Uh, check out my spot, yo. <laughs> Stress. So um Yeah. Hoping to be on time for ward round. I'm here with my hubby. What that? I'm a convict, yo. <laughs> you do look like a convict. Um, I'm, I'm glad I just made it in time for ward round. They pretty much came in as soon as I was here, didn't they? So I'm glad about that. And they're so quick. It's like, blah, 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 blah. and I'm glad I was here because we were able to give them information that's like not written on their charts. It is funny how they interpret stuff. Like, oh, you've not been taking this, so you don't need it. Uh, no, actually, you ran out of it in your pharmacy, so they have to find something else to give him. That doesn't work. And it's not helped. <laughs> yeah, we taught my parole officer. <laughs> so, um, I'm not going to torment this man with the camera. But I'm here it's now. torment the camera loves me. I'm here now for a I while. I love it. I'm gonna give you a good clean on me. You can get your. Why are you laughing? I'm gonna give you a sponge bath. <laughs> and then get them to change this bed in. My hearts need changing. No, you don't. It's smell of wee. <laughs> quick, quick, Ma, wipe my ass. On that note. See you guys in a bit. Ow. So I'm just in the lift. I'm now going to go foraging to find something to eat because I'm really, really hungry. I had toast for breakfast, but I'm starving. I was up at like quarter past five, though, so that's probably why. Um, and James wants a dime bar. So I'll find him a dime bar. I am back from my foraging. So I'm going to do a mini hospital haul. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy trying to eat healthy here so basically I'm kind of not I'm not eating really unhealthy but it's definitely not slimming world um, I found Costa so I've got hot chocolate <laughs> yummy 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 I got this da -da -da. all new quick crosswords they must have this sort of stuff in obviously because people get bored in hospital but I thought it would be good um, meningitis can make your head a bit fuzzy 
well, it, it does make your head fuzzy. So I thought this could be something James and I do together. I could give it him and that would hurt his brain. But if I'm just like doing it and ask him um, for answers and we can like maybe try and help keep his mind a bit sharp. Um, so I got a book and a pen. A sandwich for later, so I don't have to go back down later because um, that'll be my dinner. And I got it as part of a meal deal with crisps and a diet cherry coke. Mmm, cherry. Can you move it up? Can you move up? Does that hurt? You're just trying to be silly on camera. Right. He can't move, so I don't know what he's doing. What are you doing? He's just trying to be funny with the bed. Um, Every time I go to the shop, James asks for a dime bar, so ta-da, two dime bars. At the Costa, I found an amazing chicken baguette, so that will be lunch. And I haven't even told James that I got this, but he's going to be so excited. Mm. Chocolate twist. Mm. Here you are. Have you with your team. Mm, I love you so much. Look how happy he is. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> he loves the chocolate twist. And you. And me. I got breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and something to make our mind sharp. Woo -hoo. Make our marriage start. Make up. Yeah. Make our marriage start. Wow. If this is before marriage, then. I'm in for such a treat. <laughs> it is very late now, isn't it, darling? It's very late. It's sleepy time. It's 20 past six. And James <laughs> needs to sleep. <laughs> well past my bedtime. So he's going to have a sleep and... Um, he's been fed fruit like a baby. Yeah, I fed him his dessert. My mum was going to keep the kids up for me, but... She said they're really tired. Nanny and Granddad took them out for the day today. They went to a play area and obviously with them both recently fighting off infections, they're now exhausted. So, Judah's back at school tomorrow so I'm just going to go home and get his uniform sorted. And seeing as they're going to be asleep anyway because my mum said she's going to put them to bed, I might go for a swim and then head back. But it depends how much energy I have left after I found his uniform. So, saying bye bye to my prince. Bye bye, darling. Uh, bye, everybody. Mm. Yeah. And so it goes. really strange this week being on my own most of the time I'm not used to being on my own all the time like when I got home to my own bed last night I literally just sobbed I just sobbed like the house just felt so empty um So it's been nice being able to stay at my mum's. It's just meant a lot of driving back and forth. My house is like half an hour one way and my mum's house is half an hour the other way from the hospital. So lots of driving, but I always think it could be worse. People go through so much worse. Anyway. Look, oh no. I wonder when I'll be able to vlog and walk at the same time without being like <sighs> that'll be the real test won't it of how I'm getting on at the gym yeah. hey guys 
they look awful so I've decided after finding all of Judah's school stuff for in the morning I'm too tired to go to the gym like if I go to the gym and I have a swim and I end up feeling really relaxed which I would great but like I'm so tired I feel like I'd struggle to even get dressed afterwards I'm not exaggerating <laughs> so I think I'm gonna call it a night and I'm just gonna drive back to my mum's now give the babies a kiss on the head curl up in bed and find I don't know something to eat somewhere and concentrate my energy on school running in the morning and then going back to the hospital and I'll have Eden with me so it's probably a really really rubbish and really boring day in the life but this is my life at the moment so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please click like and subscribe and things should be back to normal next week thanks for watching guys bye Oh, no, no, no.